Right, and Brenda, we do know that police communicate with various groups to better police demonstrations. But Portland's mayor is also the city's police commissioner, and he's concerned some of these texts will erode trust in the police bureau. We're here to promote freedom and God, and that is it. Joey Gibson is the leader of Patriot Prayer. Gibson and his supporters have held rallies in Portland and often clashed with left-wing counter-protesters called Antifa. Willamette Week broke the story showing hundreds of text messages between Gibson and Portland Police Lieutenant Jeff Nia. The texts between the two men are from 2017 and 18. One appears to give Gibson a heads up about one of the people in his group. Nia saying, just make sure he doesn't do anything to draw our attention if he still has the warrant in the system. In another, he tells Gibson, now's a great time to break down the rally and be able to leave. We have a large group of Antifa trying to flank us and you. We are stopping them for now, but not sure how long. Gibson, in a Facebook Live session yesterday, said this. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. It's like, you know, it's just text messages that I've been having with the police department. And they're very normal text messages. I do this with police officers all over the country, wherever I go. Just like to have some open communication. It crosses the line, number one, when you're only talking to one side. Ron Louie is a former police chief of Astoria and Hillsboro who now teaches at PSU. He says it makes sense to communicate cordially with leaders of all groups with safety as the first priority. But it crosses a line when you talk certain specifics. In my opinion, it crosses a line when you're giving information uh, such that it, it, it leads to the tactics of what you're going to try and do that day. Lieutenant Nia is a top officer running crowd control at demonstrations. He did have similarly friendly text conversations with a woman connected to Antifa in 2017. When other Antifa learned of it, they ostracized that woman. Well, we told you Mayor Wheeler is calling for an investigation and Police Chief Daniel Outlaw uh, is ordering one as well. The mayor just spoke with a KGW just a few minutes ago at City Hall. This is very upsetting to me as the mayor because at first blush what these hundreds and hundreds of text messages seem to show is an inappropriate sense of bias and favoritism towards Mr. Gibson and the people that he associates with. And that crosses a lot of lines, in my opinion. Now, the mayor added that people will only trust the police bureau if they believe officers treat everyone the same. He said as police commissioner, he expects better from his officers than what he saw in these texts. So, of course, this is a developing story. In fact, I just got information from the union that represents that lieutenant, uh, Nia. Uh, they say the PPCOA, which is the union, is confident the investigation will reveal that Lieutenant Nia was acting in the best interest of the city of Portland and its community members. A lot more on this a developing story. Maggie Vespa is going to be working it from here and have more at 4, 5, and 6. Brenda? We'll be sure to watch. Thank you very much, Tim.